Hey everybody, this is Keith K with another Stranded Deep tutorial. Um, and today we're going to look at building a raft. So I've already got my sail um, propelled raft built and ready to go. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can make a oh propeller driven one. I'm going to have to chase that out to see. Anyhow, I am going to uh, get started here. Um, and I'm going to sail out some of these islands and see if I can find ourselves um, some material we can use to make this raft um, or make a raft and you can see you need something that provides some buoyancy so you've got buoy balls there uh, those are barrel drums some more buoy balls um, got some tires some more barrels there and uh, I've got uh, one tire that I've already found so we just have to find some more all right, so I'll be right back. All right, so one of the first things we need to do when we're constructing a raft is find some materials that can uh, support the base of the raft that have some buoyancy. And so you're gonna wanna look for shipwrecks and specifically you're gonna wanna look for, uh, in this case, we've got some tires. Um, if we go and look over here, you'll see uh, buoy balls can also work uh, as can barrels and you also can make a base completely out of wood um, it just takes a lot of wood 14 sticks in this case versus oh let's say two tires so with the three tires we have here um, and the one that we have at our main base we could actually make two uh, sections of base um, our big issue is that we've got that damn shark swimming around so we'll have to keep an eye on him And really all you need to do to free the tires up is bang on this enough. There we go. And then it's going to need to get close enough. Pull each one of these out of the water. Um, I'll do that with the rest of these and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so I've decided to make this trip with just one tire. As you can see, and we'll use the tire we still have back at the base to make the first piece of the raft, and then use that raft to get around and uh, expand the size of the raft. So stand by, and we'll be back at the base where I'll start to put the raft together. All right, we've made it back to our base, um, and you can see you know, the different materials you can use to make your raft base here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. I've already brought the tire over here. And to make the raft base, all you need is two tires and a lashing. So go to your crafting menu. Go past building. Go to rafts. And you can see the tire base. We need two tires. Oops, two tires and a lashing. So it's not going to be very big, uh, but this will give us our base. Okay, so let's go ahead and just bring this back here a closer. All right, now we want to craft our raft floor. So all we need are sticks. We've got plenty right here. Uh, you just again go over to rafts. Now we are in the rafts and we're going to choose floors. Wooden raft floor requires four of these sticks. There we go. And it'll sit right on top, just like that. And there we go. We've got the basics of a raft, the beginning of a raft right here. And um, what I've found to be the best way to go about this is uh, instead of you know, figuring out how to bring uh, multiple uh, base materials to your main island is you make a little one like this and then cruise around and um, expand your raft as you go. So we're going to make um, our propulsion system and then we'll head back to that island that we were at earlier where we know that there are at least two more tires and we'll go from there. Now, uh, if we go and look at the crafting menu again, you'll see that the boat motor 
requires a fuel tank, a propeller, carburetor, an engine, uh, and those are the, all the pieces of the the engine itself, right? So here's a good, good look at the carburetor. That's the engine, the propeller, fuel tank, and then you need a few other pieces to hold the whole thing together um, and really act as your handle uh, for steering this thing. So again, we'll go to the crafting menu, we'll go over to rafts, propulsion, and we should have enough to make this. So we're gonna now just have to put this on here And, oh, it's going to be a little tricky. Might have to move this into the water. So let's pick this guy up. Or the other thing I've seen, I've been able to do a couple times is put this up on something. So there's a little clearance. Let's see. I shouldn't have had this quite so far away. But I wanted to be able to lay those out so you could see what they all looked like. We'll try this again. go. Alright, so let's just drag this bad boy out into the water and give it a spin. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and head over to... Oh crap, I'm going to have to run after that one now. Here we go. <laughs> He's trying to get me. This is going to take a little getting used to. I'll be back in just a second. All right, the engine's uh, pretty loud, but uh, I think I've got the hang of it. And uh, I'm going to get us over to this island over here, um, where I think we've got those other two tires, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you in just a minute. All right, we're just about here, but as you can see, the sun is going down. And so I may just uh, make camp and uh, come back once the sun is up so we can take a look at how to put the next section of the raft on and, uh, go from there. Alright, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, and we're back. Sun is up. And we're going to get a little rain shower, which yeah, might actually be okay. Um, I could use a little bit of water here. <clears throat> Here's the two tires that we had found here just uh, earlier in the episode. And um, there's one lashing there available, so we're going to go ahead and make the next portion of the base. Okay, and because the propeller, as you can see, is sitting back there, I'm gonna go and put this here, if it'll let me. We may have to move this into the water a little bit. It does get a little finicky. All right, let's give this a try again. So we're looking at the tire base, and I want it right there. Excellent. All right, and the next thing we're gonna to need to do is put a floor on here, right over those two, two tires we just added. And I've got four sticks right there to do just that. Again, go to rafts, go to floors, wood raft floor. And it should just snap in. There we go. Alright, it balances itself out a little bit. So, um, I'm not going to go too far since it's raining, but let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a spin. known as operator error. Got the 
this working. And what I'm using is I'm, I want to be able to see the horizon. I'm just using this corner of the raft just to know where it's pointed. And you don't want to oversteer. You want to just give small corrections as best you can. Ship. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, wait for the sun to come out. But that's basically the crux of it. If you oversteer, you end up going around in the big sun. All right, here we have another boat that we came across and this one has buoys on it. So you can't pick these up until you actually break them off of the ship. Uh, presumably they've got, oh, I don't know what, uh, they've been tied down. Um, and then the easiest thing to do actually, <clears throat> let's make sure our, let's make sure our Raft is ready to receive. Hopefully that'll work. Um, all right, and the easiest way to get these over to our raft rather than pulling them one by one is to make sure you've got a lashing and then craft the base. There it is. Why isn't it going up in the air? Oh, there we go. All right, and we'll just need four wood sticks. I believe there are plenty lying around. We'll go ahead and put next section of flooring on there. And it's a little finicky, but there we go. And I think that's going to just about do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, if you want to see more, uh, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have uh, some suggestions on how to better build and maneuver the raft. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot, everybody.